The released video has shed more light on foreign military aid to ISIL Takfiri militants in Iraq. According to Iraqi media, the video released by the Iraq-based Hezbollah brigades shows a U.S. Chinook helicopter dropping two boxes full of weapons for ISIL militants by flying at a low altitude in the Al-Abbar area south of Fallujah. The video has been recorded on February the 9th. Earlier, there were reports that some U.S. helicopters landed in Fallujah, which is the main base of Takfiri militants in Iraq. The reports fueled speculation that the U.S. is providing militants with weapons. That prompted Iraqi lawmakers to urge the government to open an investigation into that matter. Check out these survival playing cards from Conflicted the Game. Not only can you use them as regular playing cards, they also have preparedness scenarios for you to Ability, folks, it's a hundred percent probability. But you know what? A lot of people aren't interested in that. They're more interested in ISIS at the moment. You know, the Israeli Strategic Intelligence Service or the Israeli Secret Intelligence Service, ISIS, ISIL, the new boogeyman that Obama is promoting. You know, is it possible that ISIS is a creation of the CIA or the Pentagon or the National Spying Agency or perhaps Mossad overseas in Israel? In fact, that's the exact accusation being made by the president of Sudan, the head of Hezbollah. They say, it's just a creation of the State Department, just like all CIA was, just like Al Qaeda. And I thought Osama bin Laden was dead. I thought Obama had stomped out the evil doer. I thought they kicked this dead body, his carcass, off a U.S. warship in order to give him a proper Muslim burial. They didn't take a photograph. They didn't even do a tweet pic or send it out on Vine. Of course, there's no DNA evidence, not a, a shred of proof. Even though it cost taxpayers the war post George W. Bush era over a trillion plus dollars, thousands of American lives, tens of thousands of people wounded on false pretenses. Remember, it was George W. Bush's WMDs, weapons of mass destruction, which turned out to be total bullshit, turned out to be a falsehood, turned out to be a lie. And you can't help but beg the question, what if ISIS is the same thing? It's Obama's equivalent of Bush's Al-Qaeda in weapons of mass destruction because it justifies a further war in the Middle East. In fact, isn't it curious how the first beheading of Jim Foley, the majority of the American public didn't want a war? They were over it. They were demanding a withdrawal, which was the promise of Barack Obama, only to switch their opinion. A recent CNN and CNBC poll says they now overwhelmingly support it because of the violence that's being portrayed in the mainstream media of ISIS, which started with kind of a docile beheading of Jim Foley as escalated and amplified to multiple beheadings on a Libyan beach of Coptic Christians, women being gang raped, children being slaughtered, people being thrown off of buildings. I even read a report that they're harvesting people's organs and selling it on the black market. I mean, these people really are the boogeyman. They're so friggin' creepy, and it's tough to argue with that. Now Americans support the wars. They're not just behind the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, a continuation of what we saw with George W. Bush, but they approve of the drone strikes in Syria. In fact, it justifies an entire war, not just in the Middle East, but around the world, pushing Putin into a corner. You know, what if the U.S. is just using ISIS, dropping them guns and weapons and funding them, etc., so that it fulfills their own effort, their own destabilization effort in this part of the world? Places like Syria, where they've been trying to oust Bashar al-Assad for some time now, they even engineered a false flag, a chemical Gouda attack, which they blamed or tried to blame on Assad only to come out later. The truth was it was more than likely the rebels on the ground, the terrorists, the, the United States had been arming that were more than likely responsible for the gas attack.
Isn't it interesting how all of this conveniently just runs right into the laps, falls right into the laps of U.S. politicians to push their agenda for war, just like George W. Bush. Again, they never provide us with a shred of evidence just because Obama says it doesn't make it true. I mean, why do we hold this guy to a different standard? Why, why aren't we allowed to investigate the truth or think outside the box critically? I mean, if you even question ISIS and their legitimacy, you must be also a terrorist, according to this government. You know, Obama has baseless claim after baseless claim. Whether or not it was North Korea is responsible for the Sony hack, isn't it curious how he's also using that as a push for internet censorship, another executive order, or it's bypassing a Congress through illegal immigration, or it's any of these wars and a continuation of these wars overseas. Again, ISIS, I kind of think that the president of Sudan might be on to something, that the leader of Hezbollah might be on to something, that just like all CIA, ISIS has probably been created by the U.S. State Department, U.S. intelligence agencies here in the United States of America. In fact, I watched an interesting video yesterday, courtesy of Press TV, which showed allegedly a U.S. helicopter dropping supplies to ISIL to give them weapons so they can go kill more people. Again, this is classic propaganda, folks. You demonize the enemy so they're easier to kill. And then you use it to serve your own agenda. It's just like the United States helped to promote the attack on Pearl Harbor by implementing the embargo on Japan before the outbreak of World War II because it justified the United States getting involved in a world war. We're doing the same thing now. We're just blaming ISIS. I mean, how can you argue with beheadings? How can you argue with the raping and the pillaging of women and the murder of children? How can you argue with any of this? And the answer to the question is, you can't. That's why it's a perfect tool. That's why it's psychological warfare. It's being engineered to impregnate into the people's minds of America and not just around the world that this is why we must go to war. It's not the same thing with the Charlie Hebdo attack. It just pushes that anti-Muslim agenda, this war against evil and the good guy here in the United States. We're always the good guy, you know? We always got like a little angel cap on and angel wings. We're like the choir boy, you know, of the world. We're, we're always good. Obama's so good, but everyone else is evil. You know, Putin is the next Hitler. ISIS is the devil. You know, the rest of the world is Satan, but the U.S., we're good. Yeah, that's right. Again, you know what? President Sudan's probably right. The leader of Hezbollah's probably right. The only terrorism and the only terrorist responsible for what's happening in the Middle East is probably coming from the State Department, probably coming from the United States federal government to serve our own agenda, to push a narrative of war, a continuation of these wars in the Middle East. And it's all boiling over. I'm Christopher Green. Get this video out everywhere. Make it viral. Hard hitting it in your face. And click the link below to support our sponsor.